Hi, I'm Mr. Mike with SVSF Center, and today we will be doing an awesome hands-on science activity. This activity is called ink chromatography. Today's activity involves separating colors. Now, chromatography is very interesting because it's used for a variety of things, from examples such as food testing to in the medical field like creating vaccines. Now, for this activity, we're going to put markers to the test and see what colors are mixed together to create a color that is drawn on our filter strips. Now, as always, whenever we do an activity, we like to make sure that the kids are walking away with something. Now, the students will be able to do the following. They'll be able to experiment with the process of chromatography so they can separate the colors with large markers and learn new terminology such as capillary action to understand how the process of separating those colors actually works. Now, materials, before we get started, let's take a look at what we have in front of us so that we can use them to have an awesome time with this activity. So you will just need a cup with water, coffee filters that are already pre-cut for the students, and a fastener that is going to be attached to the cup along with the coffee filter so that you're able to create the reaction. I also like to have a coffee filter handy so they can see where the strips came from for our visual learners out there. And last but not least, a marker. I'm going to be using green for today, but the kids will have a variety of different markers and that's what makes this experiment a lot of fun is because you can tinker with and see what colors make up all these. A lot of kids already know what colors make up green, but this is a great way for those who do not know and also those to see the process of how it actually works without people just saying, oh, these two colors make that. So that's what's really cool about this uh, experiment. Um, I will make sure that there will be extra strips for them so they can uh, tinker with this experiment. And now we're going to go through the process so we can get started and make sure that the uh, kids are able to fully complete this project. Now, when you get started with this, we bring up that all markers are made up of different colored dyes. And we can separate those colors out of washable markers by adding water. Now, we are doing paper chromatography, and this is where we separate the dyes within the marker using the movement of water. Now, as the water makes its way up the coffee filter, and moves the ink from the marker along with it using a process called capillary action. Now, to get started with that, you take your coffee filter and you draw a thick line on the filter, just like this. You don't want to make it too thick. But as you can see, I have a good thickness right there. And you don't want to do it at the very bottom because you want the water to move up. You want the capillary action to actually be successful. And then you take your fastener and you're going to attach it to the water cup. Now, I already did this for us. So this is what it's going to look like when a kid attaches it to it. So they're going to have their coffee filter and fastener attached to the cup along with the water. There will be marks for the kids to see where they need to fill the water to. That's the biggest thing material-wise that they need to make sure they have right away when they get started so that they have enough water in this cup. And like always with these science kits that we have, everything will be labeled and provided to them so they're able to get this uh, activity rolling. Now, when facilitating this activity, please make sure that the students are being introduced to the different terms such as capillary action like I uh, just previously discussed and also chromatography. Now, when they are done, this should look something similar to this. Now, I want the kids to observe what happens when it moves up the coffee filter because now you're able to see a little bit of what separates, what colors separate to form green. Now, you can see a little bit of yellow and there's also some blue. I will say it is very difficult to see in this camera, but when you're in person doing this, and I encourage you to try this at home before uh, you facilitate uh, for our students in the summer, you will be able to definitely see the blue and the yellow that creates green. So we all know the compound color green is made up of blue and yellow. So this way you can experiment with purple. I love experimenting with brown because you can see all the various colors that make it up and have a fun guessing game with the kids so you can extend this. Now, we want to make sure that we're also explaining that each dye within the marker is pulled along at a different rate based on the size of the molecules. Now, larger molecules are a lot heavier, which makes them more difficult to be moved by water and remain near the bottom of the filter paper. 
Now, smaller and lighter molecules may move a lot more easily and travel higher up the filter. Now, this specific arrangement of the dyes is unique to each marker and can be used by scientists to compare different samples of ink. Now, there you go with that activity. Very, very simple. Um, I hope that I was able to answer any questions you may have. If not, we always have our lesson plans attached for you guys so that you can see different examples, the objectives, run through the materials again. And if you have any questions, I hope this video was very helpful. And thank you so much for helping out for our summer program, and I hope that you have a great day.